Hello everyone and thank you for watching another YouTouchIt.com production. Today we're going to be setting up this T-Mobile HTC HD2 with Simple Mobile. This phone in particular is actually not unlocked, it is still tied into T-Mobile, but luckily Simple Mobile is an MVNO of T-Mobile, meaning it's still running on the same towers and essentially is the same service, just operated by a third party. So let's go ahead and get started. So on this phone what we do need to set up is the internet. The internet does not work out of the box because it needs to be set up through Simple Mobile's WAP access. So go into settings and I just scrolled there and you want to go to wireless controls. In wireless controls you want to hit menu and let's just get a little bit closer and in menu here you'll see connections. You want to tap on connections. Don't mind what you see here. This is something I was tinkering with to get this to work. So what you want to do is go to advanced. In advanced you want to select the network. So let select networks and what you want to do is don't really pay attention to what is here right now. You want to create a new one. So we're going to tap on new and you want to make something called simple I'm going to call mine simple and I'm going to go to modem and in here in the modem section I want to add a new modem connection so the general where I started is now named simple that's the name of the internet connection in the modem we need to create the connection and you want to tap on new here at the bottom and uh, my connection, I can rename it to anything, but I want to make sure I name it simple. I'm going to put internet. Make sure that select the modem is selected at GPRS. Have a little problem tapping on it, so let's go on to keep on tapping on COM1 make sure it's GPRS COM1 again <laughs> let's grab this GPRS so GPRS is selected and hit next access point name put simple for this next Username, password, and domain blank. And tap finish. And now OK. Make sure that simple is selected as your internet connection. So anything that will connect to the internet will use this settings, these settings, to connect to the internet. Uh, programs automatically connect to a private network should be using this might be important so I'll set that up to simple also I keep on this phone is actually having a little bit of an issue with the sensitivity so I'm going to keep on tapping on it until I get that to simple well you get the point I'm going to leave it on web for now I'll come back later and set that up. And now let's test the internet connection. Uh, connection. Go back to the home. And I want to use Opera. And I want to go to. Let's see if that loads up. It's taking a little bit, but it is loading. And as you can see, my internet settings are now set up. 
So that's, uh, that basically sets up your internet connection on your HTC HD2. But maybe right now you want to send an MMS and that will not work unless you set that up correctly and that's where everything gets a little bit tricky on this phone. So let's go ahead and set up your MMS now. Let's go home. And let's go to the start menu. So you go to start and what you want to do is you want to go to your messaging, HTC messaging app. So tap on that and I don't have any messages in here and you want to go to menu and in menu you want to go to settings in settings you want to go to options and in options settings you want to go to menu again and then you want to select an MMS server and this was really a pain to do I mean the instructions are available but they're not straightforward so uh, you want to create a new a new connection for your MMS so you go to new and you fill in these settings so those are the settings what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit cancel I already have done this and I'm going to show you the MMS settings so I named it simple MMS that should be the server name simple MMS there should be an IP address the IP address is 216.155.165.50 the port number should be 8080 and the server address is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash smpl.mms.msg.eng.t-mobile.com and there's a little bit more so let's see, let's see if we can scroll forward forward slash MMS forward slash WAPENC so once that's in there you want to select the internet connection that you want to use to connect to that connection so um, make sure you select from this list the internet connection that you created in my case was simple so connect via simple and the message size should be at 300 WAP 2.0 should be selected and hit or tap done at the bottom so there's a done there should be a done there make sure that simple MMS is your default so which how you do this is by tapping and holding you will get a menu and it will say set as default but it's grayed out because it, mine is the default or edit so there you have it you should have your MMS and your internet working now. Make sure you tap on OK. And that's about it. You should be done. Hopefully this works for you and your HD2 is now working with full MMS and full internet service. If you have any further questions, visit utouchit.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to visit exabytedb.com for up-to-date news, tutorials, and more.